Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to lock apps and hide photos on the Realme 14T. Let's begin! In order to lock our applications, we have to enable something that's called App Lock. We can easily do that by going into Settings, scrolling down a little, uh, while not Google Services, and then going into Security and Privacy. Here we want to scroll all the way down, and we have our App Lock. Now we can just click it. And as you can see, it will use the privacy password to access our desired applications. We can just enable it, but we'll have to set a privacy password first. So let's go to the settings and let's set a, pri a privacy password. Um, we can choose a different password type, for example, the pattern. I will stay with the pin and I will set something easy just for purpose of this video, like 123456. Though our phone will warn us that this is just too stupid and the password is way too common, but I'm going to ignore it and use it anyway. But of course, I would advise you to just use something else. Now we have to in, uh, input our security question. So for example, if we ever forget uh, the screen lock, uh, we'll have a question that will reset our password. So we can switch it to something else. Uh, for example, we can go with favorite restaurant, uh, name of your high school or something like that. I'm going to go with, well, maybe the father's name. And I will set it as the Dragon Slayer. Uh, because in case you didn't know, my father was a famous Dragon Slayer back in the day. When, you know, the dragons were still running around. But they're not anymore because my father killed them all. Yeah, 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 just a notable fun fact for you. Anyway, uh, after you set your security question, we can just, well, we can set a recovery email. I'm not going to do that, but it's also a way of, is a plan B of your plan B, in case you forget your security password. So now we hit confirm, and now we can uh, basically scroll through the list of every single application we have on our phone and lock it. So for example, we can lock our Amazon shopping for, a uh, for some reason. It will now appear in the locked section, and whenever we want to use it, we'll have to input the privacy password. And only now I can use my the applications. The same things goes for using just our photos. We can then go back to the settings, to the app lock, and now we can find and locate the gallery of our phone. So it should be, maybe it's called photos. Yeah, it's called photos. So now we can also set the password to the photos, meaning that this way we can just easily log in any kind of photo that we want using our privacy password. Uh, if you ever want to remove your password, all you have to do is just go back to the settings, go back to the app lock, do it and in input your password, then click the three dots in the top right corner, go to a set now, and here we have a few different options to choose from. The first one is privacy password, and here we can change the password or remove it completely. And also, you know, change the question or change the recovery email if you want to. And also lock apps when. Currently, it's only after we lock the screen. Um, so, you know, if I go back to Amazon, I don't really need to do anything because I don't have to input password. However, if we change it, oh, I have to go back. Uh, if we change it to, oh, I misclicked. Uh, uh, if we change it to exiting the app, then every single time we leave the application, we'll have to input our current password, which is a pretty cool feature if you want to improve the security of your application. And yeah, I think that's all for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.